Hey guys, what's up? So I'm for here. So in this video, we are gonna talk about GPK, how he recovers his lane despite dying four to five times in the mid game, and he still managed to stay ahead of the queen, who is actually four zero six. So let's get started with this video. So GPK is level six now. Queen tries to go aggressive on him because he's got a bounty hunter help. And what GPK does is very interesting here. He actually just turns around on the bottom and gets the kill. So this way he's kind of recovered a little bit. Despite Queen getting some two seventy nine gold, he still got his favorable trade. He's got two sixty five gold. Although he did not get the AP, but he did get the gold. So after the second death, he TP's to the mid lane. But then the bounty hunter is already there, and so they gank the lash and they kill him again. This way GPK dies three times in a row. Instead of rotating towards the mid lane or towards the top lane, he wants to. Join the fight because he's very strong now, and he realizes that he needs to get some kills to recover in the game. They try to go aggressive on the snapper because the snapper is alone, and bounty hunter is from the bot lane. She kind of survives because of the magic wand, and then gets all the kisses off and manages to kill Kyotaka. The snapper dies first, and the Rubik gets the kill, and they try to join the fight. So it's now one three one, and they see the lich, and they want to go on him. It's a nice omni slash. They get a kill on the lich. Now this bounty hunter is come late. He spotted with the sentry, and you can see queen is patiently waiting. So they want to go. On this lash again, so GPK manages to sidestep the astral step. Jag also takes the astral step, and they try to kill the Slavi, and he kind of jokes his way around in the wrong way, and then he dies to GPK with the pulse nova, and then the snapper is overextending now because Slav already died, and they get another kill on the snapper. So with this rotation, he actually recovered in terms of the net worth. So he now he gets the bounty rune and he farms his camp. So he forgets the token that he did not see it. So he's trying to go the Yule Scepter of Divinity. He finds the lich. He tries to kill him. He kind of overextends, gets caught, and then Queen has a DD, and then he moves in the wrong direction. If he had gone in the other direction, he would have survived here. But he kind of goes in this direction instead of going in this direction because lich will not have the help. Queen is four zero one. He's already level nine, and, and GPK is level eight and a half. So this is a very interesting play. So as soon as G GPK spawns. He TP's to the mid lane to give Rubik two bottle charges, and they ask Wind Ranger to bait the Void Spread. So Void Spread takes the bait, but they kind of miss the stun. But that's just all right. They still get the Lich kill. Now they try to chase the Queen. Queen is very fast, so he Queen actually steps away and tries to get away. And he uses the Ether Remnant to block the path, and GPK still dodges him. Tries thinks of chasing him, but then he gives up on the chase as it is on high ground next to the slab. And then here, so GPK does a nice cheeky play here. So he comes closer to the crypt where the hard cam is, and uses his Pulse Nova to get the aggro on the crypt. So the crypts mid here instead of him trying to come here to attack. This is like small small plays that pro players do, and this plays come only when you have played the hero for so long. So after clearing the hard cam, he comes to the mid lane, pushes the wave. Because the 12 minutes mark is approaching, so he has to be on the rune to get the rune instantly. This is how pro players play. They clear the wave and they try to be on the rune spot at the exact time so they can get the rune instantly. Now he gets double stack hard cam at enemy ancient, so he farms it. He gets another 200 gold. It makes him ahead of Queen, who is actually 4-0-2, and GPK is 4-4-3. So you can see how he is completely recovered the game. Yeah, and he tries to gank the snapper. He kind of misses the stun by one frame, but they still get the kill with the omni slash. He again then rotates back to his farming. But then he does not farm this camp because it's only a single camp, and tries to farm this medium camp, and even gets the item which he had left behind, and he gets the bottle refill here. So now he again has the resources, but here he kind of makes a mistake. So he makes this play very obvious for the enemy team. He kind of positions himself in such a way that he is clearly visible to the enemy that he is gonna push the wave. This is a kind of rare mistake. He does not even have the AD, so I'm not sure what he was trying to do. What happens here is that Snapper is gonna spawn. So they realize and they all. All come to the mid and snap tip is in the mid lane to kill this guy and they all are rotating towards the mid lane. You can see Slack is coming on the map as well as the Void Spread. Lash gets caught with the snapper element. He uses the Yule Scepter, but still it is not enough to save him from the Void Spread. So this is kind of obvious mistake from him. So after spawning, he again tip is back to the mid lane, goes to farm the mid wave and then goes to farm the hard cam, which is kind of stacked for him with the, from his support. So he kind of record, you know, he's kind of even now. You can see on the network, but they find a nice bounty kill who was trying to Korea snipe. They had the sentry. For him, he does not get a kill, but he gets the assist, so it's like hundred gold. So it's something, you know. And you can see he's already taken a net worth lead over Queen. <laughs> actually, five zero three again. So with this, he sees Queen is in the top lane. He does not have a TP, so he tries to push the mid lane to create a map pressure. And he tries to go for the top to join the fight. So this way, he doesn't miss the wave, and he tries to gank. Queen uses the astral stab in such a way that it hits GPK, so it slows him, and he cannot catch him further. And then he escapes with that. So with this again, he goes back to the farming, and then the smoke. 
breaks and they realize that this bounty hunter is near so they use the dash and they get the kill on him so with this he's actually top net worth right now and he's ahead of queen by 500 gold so this patch the kills give more gold than the crit so this way gpk recovers his game in every game there will be heroes that you can kill and you cannot so you just need to find the heroes that you can kill and try to feed on them to recover your game so this way you can recover your game like gpk did by killing this bounty hunter again and again who actually ruined his game in the early game so that's it for this video guys thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video take care bye